target is getting wiped out, and they're in the worst case scenario. Target Corporation, often simply referred to as Target, is one of the largest and most recognizable retail giants in the United States. Established over half a century ago, Target has grown into a household name, known for its wide range of products and appealing shopping experience. Over the years, Target has earned a reputation for providing quality products at competitive prices, attracting a diverse customer base. However, recent challenges and shifts in the retail landscape have put the company's performance under scrutiny. Target is facing multiple serious problems that have put its future in a very difficult and uncertain situation. We put enormous effort into producing data-driven content to show you what's fake and what's real. Subscribe and comment to the final economy. Target's recent financial performance has been a cause for concern as fresh data highlights troubling trends. The retail giant experienced an unprecedented 90% drop in profits over the past year, signaling significant challenges within the company. Attempting to offset losses, Target implemented a strategy of raising prices in 2023. However, this move backfired as consumers showed little interest in purchasing 60% of the company's inventory, while the remaining 40% proved significantly more expensive. As a result, customers turned to other retail shops for their everyday purchases, leading to disappointing sales figures and dampening investor confidence in the chain's ability to recover. Target faced an unprecedented 90% decline in profits in the past year, signaling alarming financial woes for the retail giant. Despite attempting to offset losses through a strategy of raising prices in 2023, the move had adverse effects. Consumer interest dwindled, resulting in only 40% of the company's inventory being sold, and those items came with significantly higher price tags. This led many customers to opt for other retail options for their purchases, causing a downward spiral in target sales. Investors and major financial institutions expressed skepticism about the company's prospects, indicating that a recovery might not be on the horizon anytime soon. Target's price strategy has had a detrimental impact on the company's profits. In an attempt to offset losses, Target decided to raise prices in 2023. However, this move backfired as consumers showed little interest in buying 60% of the company's inventory. The remaining 40%, which was significantly more expensive, further deterred potential buyers. Consequently, customers turned to competing retail stores for their everyday purchases, leading to disappointing sales figures for Target. The price increases not only failed to improve the retailer's bottom line, but also affected customer loyalty resulting in a rapid decline in profits and raising concerns about the company's future. Target is facing a significant shift in consumer behavior, leading to continuous disappointment in sales figures. As customers cut back on discretionary spending amid a weakened economy, the retailer's sales have suffered, particularly in general merchandise categories like apparel, accessories, and home goods, which represent over 60% of Target's inventory. Shoppers are becoming more cautious and are seeking promotions and discounts, showing hesitancy to purchase items at full price. Additionally, the company's attempts to raise prices to offset losses have resulted in customers choosing alternative retail options for their everyday purchases 
This shift in consumer preference has contributed to Target's ongoing sales struggles. Recessionary trends have exacerbated Target's already challenging situation, causing further setbacks for the retail giant. As the broader economy weakened, consumers have become more cautious about their spending, resulting in a decrease in discretionary purchases. General merchandise categories, which are vital for Target sales, have experienced significant declines, including apparel, accessories, and home goods. The company's strategic decision to raise prices in 2023 to offset losses has backfired, as customers show less interest in buying 60% of the company's inventory, while the remaining 40% is significantly more expensive. These recessionary pressures have intensified target sales struggles and eroded investor confidence in its ability to rebound. Target is grappling with challenges in its general merchandise categories, exacerbating its overall financial woes. Key segments like apparel, accessories, and home goods, which collectively account for over 60% of the company's inventory, have witnessed significant declines in sales. As consumers cut back on discretionary spending amid economic uncertainty, the demand for these products has dwindled, leading to disappointing sales figures. Despite offering deep discounts to clear unwanted inventory, Target has struggled to entice shoppers, who now appear more price sensitive and reluctant to purchase items at regular prices. These ongoing struggles in general merchandise categories have further strained the retailer's performance. Target is facing considerable difficulties in its general merchandise categories, leading to a considerable impact on its overall performance. Key segments such as apparel, accessories, and home goods, which constitute more than 60% of Target's inventory, have experienced a significant decline in sales. The company's attempts to offer deep discounts to clear excess inventory has not been successful in enticing customers. Consumers have become more cautious in their spending, showing a preference for promotional offers and discounts rather than purchasing items at regular prices. These challenges in the general merchandise categories have contributed to Target's ongoing struggle to improve its sales performance. Walmart's former CEO, Bill Simon, has issued a stark warning about the troubled future of Target. Simon, in an interview with CNBC, expressed his belief that retailers like Target are facing significant challenges due to recessionary trends. He emphasized the need for differentiation and offering products or services in demand to survive in the retail landscape. Simon highlighted that stores like Target, with a greater focus on non-essential items, may struggle as consumers prioritize spending on essential goods like groceries. His cautionary remarks underscore the severity of the situation, implying that Target's downfall could be imminent if the retailer fails to address critical issues effectively. Inventory mistakes have compounded Target's already challenging situation, further contributing to the retailer's woes. The company found itself ill-prepared in terms of inventory when the crisis began as consumers shifted their spending toward groceries and essential items. This resulted in a decline in sales for discretionary categories like apparel, accessories, and home goods, which represent a significant portion of Target's inventory. Additionally, an oversupply of goods led to the introduction of new price increases in the only category where the company remained profitable, groceries. However, this move backfired as customers were hesitant to accept the price changes, leading to reduced sales and customer dissatisfaction. 
Despite Target's efforts to boost its financial situation, grocery sales have not proven to be a saving grace. The company's strategic decision to raise prices in the grocery category to offset losses has not yielded the desired results. In 2023, grocery sales saw only marginal increases in January and February, but they declined in March and April, resulting in a lackluster 0.9% uptick for the entire quarter. This dismal performance further adds to Target's woes, as it struggles to maintain its market share and compete with other retailers offering more competitive prices and better value in the grocery segment. Customers have responded unfavorably to Target's steep grocery price hikes in 2023. The company's decision to raise prices in an attempt to offset losses has led to a staggering 21% increase in overall grocery prices within a year. Comparatively, Walmart raised its food prices by 27%, but did so over two and a half years, starting from a lower initial price point. Target's customers, accustomed to more affordable options, expressed their dissatisfaction as prices soared. On various platforms, shoppers criticize the inflated costs, making comparisons with other retailers like Costco, Aldi, and Walmart, which continue to offer better deals and value. Target has made efforts to attract higher-income shoppers by actively targeting households earning over $150,000 annually. The company's push to capture a larger share of this demographic is evident as its percentage of upper-middle-class customers increased from 14.8% to 19.6%. While these customers tend to spend more, their numbers are insufficient to solve Target's financial woes. The move has raised concerns among some critics who argue that the retailer risks alienating its traditional mass market customer base. Additionally, past partnerships like the ill-fated collaboration with luxury department chain Neiman Marcus serve as reminders of the challenges in catering to diverse income groups effectively. Target's ill-fated holiday partnership with luxury department chain Neiman Marcus was met with disappointment and financial setbacks. The collaboration, intended to attract higher-income shoppers, ultimately flopped due to several factors, including overpricing and an inadequate supply of merchandise. Target priced the exclusive collection too high, failing to resonate with its traditional mass-market customer base. The lack of reliable supply in stores further dampened the partnership's success, leading to unsold inventory and financial losses. The failed endeavor serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the challenges in striking a balance between catering to diverse income groups while maintaining the appeal of affordable offerings. Retail crime has become a pressing issue for Target, further compounding the company's financial challenges. With the rise of organized retail crime, the company is grappling with an increase in stolen and lost merchandise amounting to hundreds of millions of dollars. In the fiscal year 2022, Target reported total shrinkage of $736 million, a figure that could potentially exceed $1 billion with the anticipated $500 million increase in 2023. Such significant losses directly impact the company's bottom line, intensifying the financial headwinds it faces. The mounting financial burden of retail crime adds to Target's already strained situation and poses a serious threat to its profitability. Target is grappling with quality issues and empty shelves in its grocery section, 
which further exacerbates the retailer's challenges. Customers have expressed concerns over the questionable quality of fruits and vegetables, and some products have disappeared from the shelves without returning. The lack of reliable supply has left the grocery section with empty spots, impacting the overall shopping experience. As consumers seek essential items to replenish their kitchens and pantries, these issues have deterred them from choosing Target for their grocery needs. The combination of quality and availability concerns has contributed to the company's struggles in attracting and retaining grocery shoppers. To sum it all up, Target, once a thriving retail giant, now finds itself facing a number of challenges that have severely impacted its performance. The company's unprecedented 90% drop in profits, disappointing sales figures, and strategic missteps, such as raising prices and targeting higher income shoppers, have shaken investor confidence and triggered a substantial sell-off. Moreover, the struggles in general merchandise and grocery categories, coupled with inventory mistakes and quality issues, have further compounded Target's woes. The rise of organized retail crime has only added to the financial headwinds, with substantial losses affecting the company's profitability. As the retail industry continues to evolve, Target must urgently address its issues and implement effective strategies to regain its footing and secure a more stable future. Failure to do so may lead to a precipitous downfall for this once huge retail giant.